Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, I am back in front of the camera answering yet more questions that people keep asking me. And I get this quite a lot, and it's Sam, what is this custom ROM you're always banging on about? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain to you what I'm on up when and what it actually does, and what the benefit is. So, let's get into it. Right, so basically, what a custom ROM is, is effective what it says it is, it's a customised version of a ROM. So as an example, Samsung, HTC, etc. put out the device and it's known as a stock ROM. Not a stock Android ROM, but a stock ROM from their kind of basis. Now, what these developers do, some people may want to say hackers, crackers, I like to call them developers because effectively they are developing for the device. And what they do is they'll take that ROM, they'll modify it, they'll you know put the improvements here, take things out they don't want in it, that they think makes it sluggish, put an extra script in there that may make it a little faster and then kind of bundle it all together put the applications they think that should be on the device or shouldn't be on the device sometimes they give you an option depending on what the developer actually you know chooses to pick in it and then they bundle it all together and then you've got your custom ROM the advantages of that is that if they don't like the look of it let's say they don't want the green notification the green in the notification bar they decide I want to have a blue one they can basically modify it put it in there or give you an option you can have an update zip, basically it's an update file, you flash it on your device and it updates it to, as an example, remove that little stupid you know, um, brightness slider, change the colour on your device, change the launcher. There's so much customization you can do with a, with a you know, custom ROM. I always recommend doing it if you know how to do it. I'm going to come to a future video with regards to should you root, should you not root? Do you need root? Because a lot of people keep asking, Sam, do I need root? Well, my next video is going to be on that, so stay tuned for more. Any more questions you want to answer in the video, don't forget to hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, it's at Sam J. Pullum. Don't forget to like the video as well, if you, if you, much, if you, know, if you like these kind of videos, it is very much appreciated. And depending if you've got the new YouTube, you maybe subscribe up there, or subscribe down there. Who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching this one, and you will see me in a future video. Cheers everyone.